Here at the 52nd Fighter Wing, we are all about continuous process improvement. If you look around, you see a lot of excitement, a lot of passion. The innovation mentality is infectious. Manning issues kind of forces us to adopt a work smarter, not harder mentality. Time is valuable. There's so much waste that you can probably see it in everything that you do. You have to take it, you have to own it, and if you don't do it, then who else will? This is a way to change, change your outlook and how you engage in a problem. Education is big. We like to say, hey, let's get you exposed to this type of tool, and people are more open to that. We go in there with the intent to motivate and to inspire the folks, and that we've seen as a catalyst to uh, multiple events across the installation. The big one is PIT, Problem Identification Training. We teach how to identify a problem. Anybody can say, oh, I have a problem, but most of the time we don't really know what it is. We're 700 students here at the 52nd have received some form of continuous process improvement training. It's impacting lives both inside and outside of work by allowing the airmen to start thinking in the gray. Instead of just black and white asking the question why appropriately and finding out what's the root cause of our pain. Whatever time saved at work, we reinvest that back to the airmen. If it means, hey, going home early to spend time with your family or taking a class, that's value added for all our airmen. Well, I think it's pretty clear how the uh, men and women of Saber Nation are embracing process improvement. We validated that with saving $18 million and 145,000 man hours in 2016, and that momentum is carried over into 2017. Our maintenance group here did a small change to the F-16 egress seat pens. Because of that small change, that was a solution for all the F-16 fleets across the Air Force. So small change, big impact. The CE Builder Program is one of many sustainment management systems that was built for Air Force civil engineers. The system captures a snapshot of uh, infrastructure health, and that snapshot allows us to put our money and labor at the right place at the right time. So the Fire Emergency Services Business Suite was a way of consolidating all of our sections within the fire department, eliminating document redundancies, and providing transparency up and down the chain of command. It's been a total team effort, and we've also been fortunate that many other fire departments across the Air Force have adopted the business suite as well. Without leadership involvement, continuous process improvement would be dead. And because they recognize, airmen feel so empowered to do any type of changes, whether it's small or big. Everyone has a role in the big picture. So once everyone understands their role and we're able to work together, we get optimal results in the mission. Although the 52nd Fighter Wing is amazing, it's also the same exact people that are all over the world. We're all one Air Force, and I think anyone can really get started with process improvement by just looking at their local guidelines and policies and just making sure, hey, are they logical? Do they make sense? It's not going to happen overnight for sure, but if you invest the time, then you will get your return of investment, which is your airmen being fueled by innovation.